Nikki. So, uh, let's have a chat about what I've been up to post-contest. Um, so, I actually have been sewing a lot since the contest ended. Uh, somehow I've become more productive after it's over. I don't, I don't really know how that works. And, um, yeah. So, I've sewed up some things. I'm going to show you that stuff today. Um, I'm feeling a little under the weather at the moment. I, uh, somehow managed to catch some sort of throat fever nonsense when no one around me is sick. I don't know how that works, but I'm recovering now. But <clears throat> I got some stuff going on up in this area. Um, okay, let's move along. So let's start with what I'm wearing. Um, this dress is Butterick 5211 View B. Um, I made this last summer and I had it just hanging in the closet because I absolutely, something was wrong and I think I just was like, I hate this thing, but it was almost finished and so I just threw it in the closet and didn't think any more of it. So, when I grabbed the pink jeans out of there, um, I saw it in there and I thought, well, what exactly was wrong with this thing and what was left on it? So I just tossed it on and I don't remember what made me so angry. So I looked at my notes to find out. <laughs> oh my God. It's, it's also 900 degrees in this house. Um, Okay, so I, let's see, what did I do? I added an inch to the bust, an inch to the waist, and two inches to the hip, right, with pivot and slide, and then I made a muslin, which I thought looked pretty good, and then, okay, all right, here's where things went horribly wrong. So there's supposed to be a neckline facing, and my notes say, quote, Facing is very bad. Attempted to eliminate facing and replace with bias binding. Neckline just won't fit well or lay down. Need to revisit. End quote. So, when I put it on, I was like, it's not that bad. Like, it's really not. So, you know, it's, it's a little weird in some spots. Like, it doesn't, it looks fine here. It's a little bit janky around the shoulders, but I don't really care. And then I also did some bias binding to finish the edge instead of just turning it under. So, here's my bias binding. And I'll put in, uh, what the hell am I thinking? Oh, God, it's hot. Um, I will put a video in of me, you know what, I need to set up like a grown up. Um, I'll put a video of me, you know, wandering around in it and show you. And I actually wore, I wore it um, today for like an hour. I had to go get my dog from the groomer and I just put it on and I thought, well this is comfortable and it's mm -hmm. nice and it's really lightweight but it's not see-through. I can't remember what I made it out of. I know I got this fabric at Fabric Mart and it's just like, it's fantastic. Like, this is one of those dresses that you just live in. This is, you go grocery shopping in it, whatever. Fantastic. I love it. I don't know what I was thinking. All And, and then, to top it all off, the only thing I had left to finish on it was sewing the button on the back for the closure. Which, honestly, you know, nowadays I would just eliminate that, you know, split in the back with the button. I just I usually don't even put it in there. If I can get it over my head, I'm I'm getting rid of it. And this one I can't. But you know, it was a year ago, and I wasn't quite as savvy as I am now about cutting corners. So it's a total win. I don't know what the hell I was thinking. It's fine. This dress is fine. It, it looks pretty nice. I don't know what. Oh, I'm just I'm sitting like an idiot. So yeah, I. I don't know what my problem was, but it is fine. I am glad that I just decided to put it on at random. So, um, and someone at the, I think I had to go to the bank too, and the lady at the bank complimented me. She was like, oh, I like your sundress. Really? Okay. Okay, so let's, let's just move. I'm sorry if I'm rambling. I don't know if my brains got scrambled in that fever. Um, just bear with me. Okay, so that was thing number one that I finished. You know what, maybe I lied when I said I was sewing more because really putting a button on doesn't count, I guess. I finished some works in progress, we'll go with that. 
Um, so the next thing I grabbed out of there were the pink jeans. I already talked to you about these and I'm going to put them on and show you them in a video. All I had left to do was um, the button and rivets and making this buttonhole. Don't look, don't look too close at that because that was my nightmare. Um, it took two days because after five tries putting the buttonhole in, I got frustrated and just was like, nope, no more. I can't do this anymore. So I had to come back to it later and it was like seriously, I don't know, I don't know what the problem was. Where? I've lost my bra strap. Do you ever just not know where it went? Oh, it's down there somewhere. Um, anyways, uh, yeah, so this buttonhole, I used my automatic buttonhole foot and I have on the, um, the Viking, <coughs> oh my god, sorry, on the Viking, it's got like this little wheel and the wheel will tell the thing where to stop and go back. And the wheel, I like kept falling off the edge so I turned the paint, I, so I unpicked it all turn the waistband around and try to do it from the other way where it wouldn't fall off the edge and then uh, I don't know what was going on with it like it was just making terrible buttonholes they all looked terrible and I just was slowly losing my mind over this thing but on try number six I finally got a good enough buttonhole but this fabric does not do well with unpicking so because the um the pink part of this fabric is almost like a like a coating on it like you could totally oh god it's just a disaster I mean if you don't look closely at it it's fine so so don't I can't these are real high-waisted though so I can't imagine a situation where anyone would ever unless I tucked my shirt in and someone decided to just eagle eye my buttonhole in which case that's a questionable human being anyways and I just I just don't see anyone really caring. I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. So I will put these on and I will put them on with the Hadley top that I decided to make. So I made another Hadley top. And Okay, so I think last time um, the the thing that I just, I had that, what am I trying to say? The facing was gaping, like pulling apart right here. So I thought, okay, well, I've lost a bunch of weight since then. So I went and tried the, that on and it's fine now because, you know, sadly, you lose weight everywhere, including your boobs. So, it's, I mean, it's good that my facing fits now. So I made a white linen Hadley top um, and I love it. It is going to be perfect with those pink jeans. I decided to put binding on the armhole facing and I did it in purple. Um, I thought, you know, there's no way that I sew this down and it, in it, like you can see, I assume that's why you'd have a facing. This is a woven tank top. You're going to be able to see behind it. So I thought, oh, I'll just put a little purple in there. It'll be cool. So that was intentional. I didn't run out of bias binding or anything. Um, and then everything else is pretty much the same. That was the only thing I really changed was um, using binding instead of a facing on the armholes. So you will see that in the little video clip. It's fantastic. I'm happy about that. And then, so, oh, by the, I don't have the ginger jeans pattern out, but that was the Hadley top. And then, <clears throat> whew, guys, my life is rough right now. Then I made Simplicity. 1616 view B which has the high low hem and the yoga waistband um, and it's not gathered right because I've decided I don't want anything gathered around my waistline I just don't that's just not a good like it doesn't it's not great for me like it's just never all the skirts I've had in the past that are either like pleated or gathered at the waist um, they just never, they just never go right. I don't, did I mention that in that video where I talked about the pleated skirt? Um, 
I can't remember if I did or not, but like I need either a wide waistband where then then gathers or um, pleats can come out of it or I need them to be sewn down, like the pleats need to be sewn down. Like I just can't have like a tiny waistband or no waistband just gathers, like it just doesn't work out on my body type, like I could just can never get comfortable in it, you know? Okay, so here is that skirt. This was something I got in a mystery bundle from Fabric Mart, see so once in a while they do work out. So. Um, yeah, it's a uh, jersey. It's really soft. I don't know what it's made out of because it's a mystery. Um, and the waistband folds over. I'm sorry. So you'll see this in the video. Now, here's the thing. I, <clears throat> with knits, I don't often make a muslin because they're stretchy and there's more forgiveness there. But this is, you know, this fabric wasn't precious to me. Um, so, you know, it was no big deal if it wasn't quite right. And to be honest, it's not quite right. So it fits perfectly from the where the um this this it's the wide fold over um waistband. So it fits perfectly at where it attaches to the skirt, but <clears throat> it's a little bit loose where it sits at my waist. So I need to probably take it in a little bit, but but now that it's finished because it's been like I just I can't there's nothing I can do about it now because it's all clean it's cleanly finished on the inside see so like the surging is all in there so I have to take the whole thing apart and honestly it's not that noticeable I don't think unless I've um after this these two days of only eating like broth maybe I've lost even more weight but I'm sure I'll gain that back in Hawaii so I'm going to try it on again just now for you guys in this little video clip I'm going to put in. And we'll see how noticeable it is. If it's really bad, just throw a comment down there and be like, don't wear that in public. It's embarrassing. You know, but I, but this was really comfortable and the rest of it was fine. So, but the pattern piece, so one moment, I will grab it and show you what I'm going to do. Okay, so this is the waistband pattern piece it is as you can see ginormous so it's meant to be folded in half right when you're when you're uh sewing it on like you're sewing it on it's you fold it in half god, what sorry oh my god okay so what i need to do because it it this i cut a size 16 because where it attaches right here fits just fine what I need to do is grade down, I think I'm going to grade to like maybe a 10 or a 12, but I need to do it in the center, you see, of the pattern piece, because where it's not fitting is up top, not where it attaches to the skirt. So that's all I'm going to do, is I'm going to find my center point, and I'm just going to grade in from there, and then grade back out. So I don't know if that's how you're supposed to do it, but I know that's how I'm going to do it, so you can take that as you'd like. Anyways, I this is that is super easy. I think I sewed this up on all in the serger. It took me maybe maybe two hours from cutting to well, I didn't quite finish it, so I didn't hem that. Um, what I was gonna do was I have some um, fabric coming in, quite a bit of jerseys. So what I'm gonna do is wait till that gets here and then sew a bunch more and then I'll just cover stitch them all at the same time because even though my wonderful baby lock evolution is super easy to thread and change, you know, settings and stuff, uh, it still takes an extra five minutes that I don't wanna spend, <laughs> you know what I mean? So I'm just gonna wait until I have like, you know, like three of them to do and then I'll set it up for the cover stitch and just blast through all of them all at one time. So. Uh, so that's what I've been up to in the past week, um, week and a half or whatever. Um, yeah, so, yeah, that's what I got. Oh, you guys, uh, okay, so before I finish this thing out, uh, I mentioned some thigh grease in my video. I think we all know what that's for. Um, and some of you want to know what I was using, and I did tell you down below, but in case anyone was too, you know, embarrassed to ask, which, don't be embarrassed, it happens to the best of us, clearly. So, if I'm going on a short trip, like if I have to run to the store, or if I have to run an errand somewhere, or if I'm just going to be in the car or something where I'm not going to be doing a lot of walking, 
I use like an oil. So this happens to be J.R. Watkins Body Oil Mist, but my preferred is the Neutrogena Unscented Body Oil. And so that, you just give it a smear and you would be gliding on your way. It just doesn't last for as long as the other thing. So that's for a short trip. This is for tons of walking. It's body glide for her. I got this on Amazon, but as I was looking at Am, come on, focus. Oh, you know what? My battery's dying. One, one second, let me change that. Okay, battery's changed. Okay, so here, this it wouldn't focus before, but here we go. Here is, is it still not gonna focus? Maybe it wasn't my battery after all. Whatever, it's body glide for her. It comes in a little pink looking deodorant stick thing. Um, <clears throat> I think on Amazon it's like 10 bucks for, this is the little point eight. For, I, just, I just reordered because I'm almost out. Um, I reordered 1.5 ounces, which should be a little bit bigger than this, and um, I got two of them for 20 bucks. So basically, what you do is it, it like goes on, like it goes on like a deodorant stick in your thighs, right? And you just smear. I'm pretty liberal with this stuff, to be honest, because I I think it took one time of thigh chafing before I decided that was never going to be me ever again. Um, so anyway, so I. You smear this on before you leave the house, and then I toss this in my purse, and then if I have to pee or something, if I'm doing a lot of, you know, if I'm out and about for like hours and hours and I stop to pee, I just swipe some more on if I need it, and it's like really that simple. And it doesn't irritate my skin, but, you know, it, we each have our own skin, so I don't know if it's going to irritate yours. Look at the ingredients. Now, I did see on Amazon that they, they only ship this in the U.S. I don't or it's only available to buy in the U.S., I can only assume that there's some sort of horrific chemical in here that the rest of the world doesn't want to have anything to do with. I don't care. It stops my thighs from rubbing together. So, well, it doesn't stop them, but it makes it not hurt when they do. So, yeah, it's fantastic. Highly recommend um, for thigh chafing. Okay, so uh, coming up next, uh, I leave for Hawaii in a week. Um... I'll be picking up my mom from the airport tomorrow. She's gonna, she gotta learn the routine so she can take care of the dog and the cat while I'm gone. Um, so she'll be here. We'll be sewing together, hopefully. Um, so while she's here, I think I'll film. I'll film my me made May findings, which um, are just about what I expected they would be. So I'll do a video on that, and then I'll also do a fabric haul video because I have gone crazy. Um, apparently, like holding off. And like trying to sew my stash for a month just had the opposite effect where I've just gone berserk. Um, there's no other way to explain how, what happened. It's just things got out of hand. You know, I get emails when I'm like half awake and then I'm just like 20%. Oh, oh my God. Right. So, so there's a huge fabric haul coming. So. Um, I'll get those videos ready and I will do my best to teach my mom how to um, hit the button to publish it. Now there's no guarantee um, that she'll actually be able to accomplish that. Um, you know, I'll do my best. Or if I get, because here's the thing guys, you may not know this about me. I do not have a laptop, right? So I can't. Like, I gotta do, although you can, I should, do I know how YouTube works? I don't know, look, I'll figure it out. I'm gonna try and have two videos ready, though. And then, yeah, so that's what I got going on. Anyway, so I'm gonna throw in the videos here at the end. All of them, you know, I'll just roll through and just show you what I look like from head to toe. Um, yeah. Okay, yeah, that's, I need to just knock this off now okay bye <sighs> okay here we go Woo. I'm right into my iron uh, okay so this was the Butterick dress that I was talking about this is what I was wearing in the video it's just a really really simple like it, it's basically a big sack okay and it's got grown-on little cap sleeves right so this is just one pattern piece here 
There's two pattern pieces in the back. There's just a center seam. That's it. And the belt. That's it. That's all there is to it. This is really, really simple. Well, unless you make the facing, which I, I, was ha I, I remember now I was having a terrible time with it. So um, it fits great. It's a good length. Um, just above the knee is where I put it. Uh, yeah, I wasn't really sure that this shape would work for my body type. Um, I'm a little curvy in through here and sometimes um, like shapeless dresses like this. Um, it does have the belt, but like, like a, what do they call it? A sheath dress or whatever. They, sometimes I get lost in them. Um, and all the like great things that are happening in this area, you know, like why would I want to hide that? I don't. So, but it's super casual, super cool. I like it. And it's very lightweight. And honestly, like I've been like my butt has been super sweaty for the past two hours and also I don't feel well so I've been sitting a lot and I don't have any butt wrinkles really so this fabric I don't know what's in it I know it's cotton and maybe maybe it has some poly in it because there's not really any wrinkling happening and I, when I say I've been like butt sweaty I'm like I mean it like seriously oh and there's pockets also I guess there's more pattern pieces and there's also pockets so, yeah, right here, pocket. Super lightweight. I like it. I dig it. It was nice and cool in the summer. Um, and then I'll come up close and just show you. See, like, here's, this is what I remember not liking was that the bias binding just wasn't quite sitting super flat. And, of course, I did not do any strike matching because I didn't feel like it. So, oh, that's accidental. Oh, no, it doesn't match. Okay. So, yeah, so little sleeves, little binding you know whatever um the only thing that i will say about this is that i was i believe i was making this as my wearable muslin i believe that's what it was and so i didn't really finish any of my seams properly so i mean i didn't even pink them like there is nothing happening so we'll see how long this dress lasts um yeah so anyways that was that one i'll move on to the next thing now Okay, here it is, ladies and gentlemen, we have hot pink pants. I will glow in the dark. You can see me from space in these pants. Uh, super excited about it. Man, I still don't really love this facing here. Whatever. It's, it's, at least it's sort of laying down. I'll just have to pay attention. Um, so yeah, here, this is the Hadley top. These are ginger jeans. Um, finally, I have managed to fit into my hot pink ginger jeans, barely. I don't know if you see it, my seams are screaming a little bit, but that's okay. I'm, I'm going to keep losing weight, it'll be fine. And then eventually they won't fit at all, and I'll be sad, but whatever. So, hot pink jeans, super awesome, happy that those are finished. It's so hot. Um, okay, yeah, and then the Hadley top, and I think they look nice together. And I know that you can kind of see the pants through the top, but I don't care. It is summer, and my shirt can be as see-through as I want it to be. Okay, so... Now, I could have made the facings nude, um, but I didn't want to. I kind of like the fact that this is a little sheer and see-through. To me, it just screams summer. Anyways, uh, I got a good fit on the Hadley. I'm happy with it, and that's about all I have to say about this. I've done reviews on both of these patterns before, so, um, yeah. So, uh, I just used summer fabrics. I think I'm going to die in here. Uh, okay, all right. L let me just move on. <sighs> Okay, this is the skirt. Um, so, yeah, so like I said, it's super big right here. Like, it's fine here, but at the waist, it's a little bit, see what I mean? Like, I just, I could take it in a lot and it would be fine. Like, I'm thinking like that. See? And then it fits just fine. But only right here, right? So, I'm just going to grade it. But, I don't know, it doesn't look, well, it's like... I kind of, I think the only thing keeping it up is the fact that it sticks to this top. And don't get all crazy about this top. It's from Target, so, you know, uh, yeah. So, um, there's not really much to say about this. It's really a simple skirt. So, it's got a high-low hem. I, I think you can see that from here. Um, I just need to finish hemming it. And then, yeah, but it's not terrible. And it's super comfortable and lightweight, and I like that. So as long as I just take it in a little bit here, it should be fine. Yeah, so that's what I will do for the next one. And that's it. 
So till next time, bye.